So a lot of people have been asking me about my current UI setup. I have previously made a video on this, but considering that video is about a few months old, I think it's about time we updated it with some newer mods. So let's get right into it. So to start, an obvious one is probably going to be Sky UI. At this point, if you've been modding Skyrim and you don't have this mod, I'd recommend just going ahead and downloading it as soon as possible. But to get into the actual customization of my um, HUD setup, for the inventory we have Nordic UI. That's mostly just because I actually do like the design of the inventory. That with combined with animated widgets from Estopa adds a nice variety to the UI, I'd say. Pretty much everything else is Tarnish UI, and that goes for my main menu. Over the main menu background replacer is from main menu randomizer. You go through the quiet mods for that, you see like all the different options that you have for different main menu randomizers. And Tarnished UI is also what I use for my HP, stamina, and magicka bars, and it pretty much just adds a nice soft look to the game, I'd say. I am also using True HUD, which in itself probably deserves its own video, with all the rich features that it adds, like being able to see your magicka update in real time, which is really nice. It also implements cool stuff like being able to see like what item actually is added into your inventory as opposed to just plain text. It also is accompanied by an icon, which is really neat. Another feature that True HUD adds is the ability to see like boss bars based on if the enemy is a boss or not. You can see like a cool little display on the bottom of the screen with their name and giant health bar, which is similar to very Stark Souls games. And another cool feature that this mod has is that um, if you use a projectile, and then immediately lock back onto the enemy and get this cool little, I guess you could say like instant tracking mechanic. The like projectile just like goes up in the air and lands back on the enemy. Kind of like an aerial strike. I'd say it's like, it's not intended at all, but it's definitely I'm using the water. Another question I've been getting about my UI is the resist wizards on the left side of my screen. That mod is called STP Resist Wizards, and basically it updates your resist in real time. It's a neat little mod I'd say, because I always do like to know like this type of information, so it's pretty handy if you ever want to know that without having to open up the console or anything. And lastly, a newer addition that I decided to give a check out was Elden Equipped. This mod so far works pretty well. It offers you an ability to use potions as well as swap gear without any noticeable delay. It was pretty solid overall. So I'd recommend trying it out as well. With that being said, I believe I covered just about most of the major aspects that involve my UI. Remember, you can always ask me anything in the comments if I might have missed something. But that's going to do it for this video, and I'll see you whenever I post the next one.